Hello guys, Kethan again. Let's change some bits today. All right. So the problem that we are solving today is packaging cupcakes problem from the beginner level of coach of practice problems. Uh, and the problem code is muffins three. All right. That sounds tasty. Uh, let's get into the problem statement. Uh, now that chef has finished packing and frosting his cupcakes, cupcakes, it's time to package them. Chef has n cupcake n cupcakes and needs to decide how many cupcakes to place in each package. Each package must contain the same number of cupcakes. Chef will choose an integer a between one and n, inclusive, and place exactly a cupcakes cupcakes into each package. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Uh, chef makes as many packages as possible. Chef then gets to eat the remaining cupcakes. Chef enjoys uh, eating cupcakes very much. He uh, help Chef choose the package size A that will let him eat as many cupcakes as possible. All right, guys. So the chef has n cupcakes, and he has to choose a number A between one and n so that uh, he can have maximum number of leftover cupcakes. Uh, leftover cupcakes are uh, so uh, the cupcakes are leftover when. Uh, he has divided the n into uh, a factor of a, and there is a there is still a remainder. The remainder will be the uh, remaining cupcakes, right? So we have to maximize the remainder, basically, right? So let's see if, uh, let's see the examples to get a better understanding. Uh, we have the input format t is the number of test cases, and then we'll have uh, the n value, and we have to find the a, right? So let's see. If there are only two cupcakes, uh, what are the possibilities? We have to start from one, right? Between one and n inclusive, right? So let's say we we choose one. Then two percentile one means two remain. Uh, what is the remainder of two divided by one? Zero, right? One into two is two uh, two, so it's perfectly divisible. So the remainder is zero. Let's choose two. Remember, uh, n is inclusive, right? So we can also choose two. So if we choose two, what's the remainder? Again zero, right? Because n divided by n is always zero, so there is no remainder there, right? So, okay. Uh, so the answer is obviously two, because we can maximize the number two and uh, also uh, maximize the leftover cupcakes, which is zero in any case, right? Here, uh, if multiple packet sizes with, which result in the same number of left, uh, leftover cupcakes, print the largest such size, right? That's why we are printing two instead of one over here, okay? And then let's see the second example, five, right? Let's go through all the possibilities. One, uh, one uh, five percentile one is zero. Uh, again, percentile is used for modulo, which is uh, what is the remainder when we divide five with that number, right? So five percentile one is zero. And five percentile two is one because two twos are four and one is the remainder, right? And five percentile three uh, here we get two as the remainder because three ones are three and two is the remainder, right? Five percentile four will again give us one, and uh, five percentile five will give us zero, obviously. All right, uh, I'll I'll go into the coding uh, code editor so that I'll I can explain it. Uh, I I can explain the logic over here. Let's say we have some number nine, okay? So comment this. Let's say we have nine, right? What are the remainders when we go through one to nine, right? When we uh, divide it with one to nine, what's the remainders, right? Nine percentile one. What's the remainder when nine percent uh, with uh, a is equals to one? Nine percentile one is zero, because anything percentile one is obviously zero, and then nine percentile two, we get one because two fours are eight and one is the remainder, right? And then nine percentile three, three is uh, a, uh, a divisor of nine, so we'll get zero. Nine percentile four, well four twos are eight, so we'll get one, right? Nine percentile five, well nine percentile five will give us four because Five ones are five, and five twos are will go above the number. So five ones are five is the maximum we can take, and the remainder will be four, right? 
comma six. Nine percent times six will give us three. Six ones are six, and three is the remainder. With seven, we'll get two, and with eight, we'll get one, and with nine, we'll get zero back. Right. If you observe the trend over here, when we are approaching the uh, middle, middle, uh, when we are approaching the half of that number, which is five, right? Nine by two is four point five. Uh, but we have to uh, add one to the middle of odd numbers. Let's say we have eight over here. Well, with eight, we'll get four as half of that number. With nine, we'll get four point five. But we have to take the integer of that, which is four, and add one to it, which is five. As we observe the trend, it is increasing until half. Well, half plus one for this, and then it is decreasing after that. Right? This is because when we approach the uh, middle and we approach middle plus 1 that's when you'll have the maximum uh, amount of uh, well uh, that's when we'll have maximum remainder right uh, yeah that's when we'll have maximum remainder because when we divide something with 2 we are essentially uh, dividing with uh, we are dividing it into two equal parts but when we are dividing it into half plus 1 we are dividing it into two parts which are the largest parts of itself right we got 5 on one side and 4 on other side we cannot do any other uh, possible combination that that such that the length of these two is maximum right so that's the logic behind it uh, yeah let's code it and you might get some better understanding when we code it right T equals to int of input, and then yeah, for i in range of t, we get n, and equals to int of input because we want it as an integer, and then we are going to print. What are we going to print? N double divided by two because we want the integer division, right? For nine, we'll get four over here, right? Four plus one, right? That's the po maximum possible. Uh, that's the best possible case for this. All right, guys. Uh, so let's see for nine. Nine double divided by two, which will give us four because it is integer division, and then four plus one, five. So what's the number that we got here? One, two, three, four, five, right? So we are printing the five. Let's check the solution over here. Right, we got two and three, which are correct answers. Let's submit it. Again, guys, you have to have some sense of the underlying math. Uh, for these kind of problems, you have to. It's better you try them on paper first, so that you'll get an get a sense of what's happening uh, in the operations in the modulo operation for now right uh, we are not using the modulo operation but uh, yeah integer division see uh, we got the correct answer yeah that's the uh, that's how you do this problem guys and also the order of this is order of 1 right it's it's a constant order because you are not going through any loop or something like that if you you could also do if you if you didn't uh get this logic over here you what you'll have to do is 1 to n you have to go through the loop 1 to n you have to check uh, what's the remainder for each value of a and then you have to store a maximum and you have to keep updating the maximum whenever you got a better modulo of a so that's messy right we we can use the mathematical uh, underlying concepts of math to simplify this very much and the order is just Order of one now. It's constant order, right? So the time complexity has decreased a lot for this. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like the video and subscribe if you want to keep watching more of this content. And I'll be putting uh, some other, uh, you know, contest problems like TCS Code Vita or Google Code Jam, uh, something like that. And yeah, if you want to share it with your friends, that will be helpful to them. And If you have any doubts, please comment it down below. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. Uh, if you even have feedback, you think I'm not doing a good job of explaining these things, 
please let me know so that i can improve myself and i can give better quality content to you guys all right guys thank you